Hey, Pete, how you doing? Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Welcome yeah, in. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I haven't been to the store yet, my first time, just cool. off the Bentonville Square. This is the Rafa pop-up, and I can't wait to explore it. Bentonville is such a unique community when it comes to cycling, because it's a small town, right? Yeah. But the road cycling here is amazing. Obviously, the mountain bike culture is amazing. But to us, bikes are bikes. So whether you ride mountain bikes or road bikes, we want to have a space for people to come in and check out the product and then get the community aspect of things going. So all the group rides that we do, all the events, and mm -hmm. just have a home base to work out of. So the roads here are obviously amazing. And Northwest Arkansas in general is such a, uh, such a destination for cycling. So for, for us here at Rafa, it's just a really, it's a really good fit. Now, if someone doesn't know what Rafa is or not familiar with it, what sets your product line apart from maybe some other brands? So as you can see with all the product here, we have a little bit of anything and everything when it comes to jerseys, helmets, glasses. We're one of the few brands that you can go head to toe and be fully kitted out. So everything but the bike itself, you can get from Rafa? Correct, yeah. Awesome. Well, can I see some products? We start course, right yeah. here. Yeah, so here we have the Pro Team line. This is kind of more of our race-inspired gear. We don't necessarily do good, better, best with our clothing. We just have different styles and different cuts and different fits for different types of riders. And it's not just on the roads, on the streets, especially in our area. It's a lot about exploring. Yep, exactly. So this is a cool display you have over here. So this is our Explore line of products. So it's geared more towards kind of finding new roads. Bikes these days are so capable. You can ride on gravel roads, you can ride on dirt roads, you can ride on paths, just go places that you wouldn't normally go before. So this says city. Yes, so this is our uh, city line of clothing that's kind of commuter inspired. So it's off the bike things, not necessarily like out there doing an 80 mile ride, but you're riding to work, uh, you're commuting down to the store. It's all gonna be tailored and cut for those types of things. And they're all gonna have little features. We wanna show off all of these amazing places around the world to ride. Community gets behind it and they're excited to have Rafa in town. And then of course, they get to experience the products firsthand and get out on the road with them. So Jared Hall, we're here at Rafa. You're a cycling enthusiast. Kind of give us a little bit uh, of your history. Well, so I'm a local guy. Grew up in Rogers, went to Rogers High School, graduated. Actually didn't get into the sport until I was 21. And I just fell in love with kind of the iconic scenery of the sport and the competitiveness of it. And uh, I was looking for something to stay in shape with and, and be competitive with from that background and just got into it, got into racing. So been addicted ever since. You're a local guy, you're a Rogers native. How much pride do you take into the local cycling scene and how would you describe that scene? So fostering the local relationships with the business has been very important for me and for the team. And in fact, that's all we do is we partner with local businesses who have a presence that make North of Arkansas a great place to live. Everything that we do is about coming back to the community and representing our sponsors well locally. What's it take? What's somebody need to do? And what do they, what do they need to expect? To get into the sport? Sure. Just spend hours in the saddle. Um, it takes years to build fitness, it takes years to build the confidence of handling, and it takes years to, to learn where it's safe to ride and, and where you want to go. And then once you kind of get to that point, then I would say reach out to a team. I think road cycling kind of has a negative connotation with it. A lot of people think road cyclists are jerks and just self-absorbed. <laughs> but that's something that we're trying to, uh, to turn around around here locally. I thought maybe we'd go through these three trails. You drew these up for Rafa, right? I did, yeah. So, Take us through these real quick. So we've got a couple different routes here, and what we wanted to do is if somebody comes in out of town or new to the sport, they say, my, my deal is I don't know where to ride. Well, we've got four or five different routes for you to choose from. So this is just a way for someone to have a suggested route that they can plan and they can put into their GPS, uh, pull out their iPhone, make sure they don't get lost, make sure they're on the right route. I'm glad you said you don't have to be a racer because I want to try it. I want to jump on it. As a rookie, just check it out. So mm -hmm. let's go take a ride. It's a lifestyle. You get into it and you're a rookie. And then once you kind of get hooked and you just, you know, hook, line, and sinker, you're all in. That's what Rafa embodies is you're happy. You're in your spot. Go out, be on your bike, find that peace, and just enjoy the scenery. They want people to come in and interact. They want to foster community. 